sometimes I'll just be on YouTube and I'll see like <laughs> compilation clips of my season or MasterChef and I'm like cringing so hard because I'm like what the actual f What's your current job and why didn't you pursue cooking? So my current job is actually um, in tech. I work for a tech company where I do corporate marketing slash brand marketing. Um, it was definitely not something that I thought I would end up doing. But actually post-grad, um, I really, really wanted to work for BuzzFeed Tasty and I interviewed with them and um, I think they cut the program that I was. Um, applying for uh, so that was a huge bummer and then I kind of made just a pivot into tech which is what a lot of UC Berkeley students do is they just work in tech originally I wanted to go to cooking school and pursue a career as a professional chef but after going on master chef it made me realize that that wasn't something I saw myself doing for the rest of my life and I realized how intense working in a commercial kitchen is and the reality of cooking is that it's not it's glamorous um, unless you're like a restaurateur um, like actually being in the kitchen is a very very like stressful and tiring job um, chefs don't get enough credit for all the work they do so yeah I'm really happy now though 
being able to do cooking as a side project and eventually I would love to make it more of a career but right now I think while I'm in my 20s I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do career-wise. really excited to have this YouTube channel. Hopefully it can grow more and then I can become a full-time content creator. Chance, would you try MasterChef again? I have thought about this question many times but I think all things considered no because 18 year old Iran is very different from 26 year old Iran and um, when I was on the show as an 18 year old I feel like I could get away with lack of skill <laughs> um, for certain things because my age kind of compensated for it um, no matter what I did it was like impressive because I was an 18 year old but now if I were to go back I don't think I think my skills would be pretty subpar for a 26 year old so it wouldn't be anything impressive I feel like I would just be the token Asian girl on the show. I also feel like 2022 is a very different time than 2014 in terms of the internet. And so, um, yeah, I don't know if I would, would be comfortable subjecting myself to that much like attention and um, being in the media. How long did MasterChef take to film? So it, obviously it depends on how far you get in the competition. I think in total it took about three months to film and I was there for about two months, I think. Do you regret going on MasterChef? Wow, this is a very loaded question, but I definitely do have my moments where I like heavily regret it and I'm like, why did I do that? Like, I'm so stupid. Like, I wish I could have just lived a normal life. Um, you know, that being said, my life is very normal, but um, like sometimes I'll just be on YouTube and I'll see like <laughs> compilation clips of my season or MasterChef and I'm like cringing so hard because I'm like, what the actual fuck? Oh, so, yes, yes and no. Um, but then other days I am really proud of being able to do that at 18. And in a way I kind of feel like back in 2014, like cooking and, um, you know, making like videos and stuff wasn't like a big thing. It wasn't very cool. And I feel like by going on that show at that time, at that age, and being Korean American, it kind of um, didn't set a standard. I'm not thinking of myself that highly, but it definitely, I got a lot of messages how I was very inspirational and people feel like, felt like they could now pursue their dreams. So that was really cool. Was it difficult to go from Master Chef and then back to school? Did you ever feel lost? Oh, 100%. So I filmed in my second semester of senior year. By the way, I was a really, really bad student. Um, I did end up going to UC Berkeley, but that was a long journey and I was a really, really bad student. And um, I feel like Master Chef being able to film was really nice because it was like basically an escape from school. Um, and so when I got eliminated and I went back home, it was really, really depressing um, because you are like filming and being in that environment is so different from everyday life. Learning how to adjust, but then also kind of like finding myself again and reflecting on what had just happened was um, mentally pretty taxing. Um, so I did feel very lost. I don't know why people accused me of picking Francis B in the donut challenge because they they claimed that I had a crush on him or that we had like a secret relationship going on. That was not the case at all. I don't have a crush on anyone on MasterChef. Um, yeah, not at all. Maybe Gordon Ramsay though. So we ate a lot of craft service. We ate a lot of catering. Um, typically the catering was like Greek food or like bread or like sandwiches and stuff. There is this thing called like the Master Chef 15 where basically you gain like 15 pounds when you're on set. That definitely happened to me. I don't know if you noticed throughout the season, I get like progressively chubbier. <laughs> Something portrayed or edited on screen that was not that way in real life at all. So let's just go back. Controversial challenge where Leslie and I are just ripping each other apart. That was definitely not how it actually panned out. And I feel like I got a really, really bad edit there, but um, that argument happened after the challenge had been filmed and we were cleaning up and I feel like just, you know, you have really long filming days, you're really tired, you miss your family, you're really frustrated and because we lost it was like a really just shitty feeling. Um, 
And so we kind of like started arguing a bit and then um, things kind of escalated, but I definitely don't think that the way it was portrayed on TV was how it actually happened. Um, and so that really caused a lot of frustrations. I've gotten enough like really mean comments about it. So just really dramatized, dr dramatic, more dramatic on TV than it was in person. I think we're connecting. Here we go, finally! <laughs> <laughs> I would say my favorite dish I made on MasterChef was definitely the seafood stew um, from, I think it was the first mystery box challenge that I won. Um, it was out of my comfort zone and I felt really proud to have won. Also, as I was tasting it when I was cooking it, I knew it was going to be a winner because it was very, very good. I don't remember the recipe or like how I did it. Honestly, I don't remember any of the recipes because everything was so in the moment. Um, but I do want to start a series where I try to recreate dishes I made, so keep an eye out. Obviously the prawns, <laughs> the prawns were so, um, tragic. Yeah. They fly you back out. They typically make you go home and then you come back because I think also, like, it's an element of surprise for the people on set. Like, Leslie obviously didn't know that <clears throat> I would be coming back for a later episode and cooking for him. And they flew everyone else out for the finale. So we had pretty long filming days and typically call times were around like 6 or 7, sometimes we were earlier. I would wake up normally around like 4.45 or 5 a.m. to get ready and then I would meet everyone in the lobby and then we would drive over to the studio. We filmed at Universal Studio. Yeah, and then we did hair and makeup. We just sat in the green room for like a few hours and then we started filming. And it kind of depended on the challenges of that day. Like if we're going off site, filming typically takes longer. But if we're just filming in the MasterChef kitchen, um, we'd typically be done around like maybe 6 p.m. ish. And then we'd go back and we would just chill. We typically got Sundays off. I recognized in public quite a bit in the beginning. Now, like, my hair is very different. I'm obviously, like, old now, so people don't recognize me at all unless they hear my name, um, which then they kind of make the connection, but it's not all often the case. It's definitely really, really hard. I was on MasterChef. I was only 18, which is technically an adult, but when I look back on when I was 18 versus now, I feel like I was such a baby at 18. Like, I really had no idea what I was doing. Um, I was really immature. I think becoming a public figure at that age was really hard because um, it was just a lot of having to grow up really quickly. I think it definitely took a, a big toll on my mental health. I'm always very worried about what people think about me and like their first impression. Um, I had to really like remind myself that it's just people on the internet and but also when you put yourself out there um, on TV or on the internet, I feel like people think that they have the right to say anything they want to you, which is not wrong, I guess, but it's also not right. I'm still like trying to overcome it to this day, but it just takes a lot of like, an I don't give a fuck mindset and that works. I cannot eat oysters for the life of me and I hate celery. Um, with oysters, I don't really like the smell or the texture. Um, and with celery, it's, I mean, it's celery, it's nasty. <laughs> the older I get, the more conscious I am of like what I eat. Um, I can't eat as like trashy as I used to as a child. So I think one of my go-to meals is like air fried chicken with like salad on the side um, or like fried rice or something. I guess I'll make a video on that as well.